Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today's video, we are gonna be showing you a little bit of what we did for this beautiful quinceañera. We did centerpieces and an entrance arch, two arches for the sweet cake table and for the treats. Uh, for the backdrop, but they actually use it as her main backdrop. We added some balloon bunches to her name, the marquee letters, and two fun towers. What else would the, we did? Um, two poles, like balloon stands poles for the entrance also. You're gonna see everything around. But here we are filming how to make these beautiful centerpieces. These are super popular right now. We have made so many for so many um, events. But in this occasion, this event, we made 40 of those and they were customized, they were painted. We are using clear bobo balloons. We bought those in Amazon. You can just type bobo balloons and you can find them in size 18 and size 36. We are using the size 18 for this and a silver inside of that bubble balloon this is the entrance of my house as you know we work from home still and we had a big mess because we had this quinceañera that we have a lot of stuff to do for that and we had a big 40th birthday celebration the same day so we started working on tuesday to have everything ready for saturday but here i'm gonna be showing you how we customize these bubble balloons i first inflated the bubble balloons to stretch it out i using this kind of um twisters i don't know how to call those to stretch the balloons and i am just adding paint a few different shades of purple and a little bit hint of white John was recording here and was taking you to for you to see how the final product looks like and it was kind of looking like the galaxy or something like that. Here is my husband and my two little girls blowing out balloons. We are a team and while me and John are doing something, the girls and daddy are uh, doing the rest. So Enobi is putting the base together uh, while Ali and, and Albert are blowing up balloons and sizing them out because they have to be the same exact size um, because they have to be the same. <laughs> so yes, John is showing you around what we have here in the living room. There's actually not a living room no more. It's our workspace. And let's see how what else is showing you all the mess and i'm here making an insta story trying to film everything that we're doing because i always keep um a little bit of updates in my insta instagram and the insta stories and i'm always updating little things that we're doing Here are the clear holes for the base of the centerpieces the end of is using to attach the balloons and she's actually real good. Um, we, I helped them make 16 of these. This was a Tuesday. So by Thursday, Friday, uh, we needed to add the final touches and we were doing it. We were just making the base this day on a tuesday and thursday and friday we started adding the the um just the final touches and the novenale and uh finishing all the centerpieces because we had to take john to the hospital he got sick and we spent the whole night at the hospital 
and the next day we had the quinceañera set up so we went to sleep at like around 3 a.m in the morning uh, when we come back from the hospital and we needed to be up at 6 a.m in the morning setting up the quinceañera it was a crazy crazy um weekend because we had from 7 to 11 to set up the quinceañera and from 12 to 4 to set up the the next event there was big and it was half of the event was inside half of it was outside and uh one and a hundred and four degree weather so it was crazy crazy so here how we were at this step adding the the paint and the bubble balloon sorry the little voices that you hear in the back was my show when i'm trying to edit videos i'm watching a show on my tablet next to me and i was watching Grey's anatomy so yes we added the balloon here the paint to the balloon the bubble balloon here and i'm trying to blow in it so i can expand enough the bubble balloon so all the paint go inside and i'm just smashing all the the paint around no basically to cover the whole thing but just a little bit or enough like 80 90 percent of it then i'm gonna use a stick to have the silver balloon and just add it inside of the bubble balloon real carefully because the bubble balloon is really it's not like it's not latex it's like plastic and it can be poked really easy so i was trying to do it really carefully and bringing it to my air pump and uh, I'm gonna blow up the silver balloon and because they are together the bubble balloon is gonna be just getting getting the air that I'm adding to the silver balloon and I'm gonna just squeeze it a little bit so I can give it the round shape I don't like eggy balloons I really really don't like egg, eggy balloon so every balloon that I blow up I have to smush it a little bit to give it the round shape and then you're gonna grab pull the, the silver balloon and make a knot but you're gonna go around both balloon not only the silver but the bubble too and make a knot and after that I'm gonna get a twisty and um, go around I actually was using half a twisty uh, 260 balloon so I can I, I mean you don't need need it to be super super long so I am cutting a 260 balloon in half and attach it to the neck of both balloons the bubble balloon and the silver balloon just uh, going around a few times and making a knot so I can take it use that 260 balloon to attach it to the top of the centerpieces the Novi, the base of the centerpieces the Novi is making over here like i said we are making 40 of these so it took us a few a couple of hours to create the base that's why we started on a tuesday to have them ready for saturday so i am we are making all of these to have them ready because I still have to make a number 40 mosaic number, some uh, fan towers, um, balloon pillars, and of course the garlands that we use for the photo backdrops and her backdrop. Then when we have the bases ready, John is taking them upstairs to my office. We literally fill up the office with these centerpieces they're tall and big so we needed the space downstairs to make the other balloons that we needed here i'm gonna just uh, fast forward forward the stuff because it's the same process over and over and over again 40 times at the end of this week we were like you so over purple because our house was full filled with purple balloons everywhere <laughs> um but yeah, enjoy the fast process and I'm gonna get back with you when we when I show you the end results how beautiful this quinceañera was.
and John is bringing more center, ready centerpieces upstairs. This is the office that I was telling you is so filled with balloon centerpieces here, all the way to the closet. Here we are taking a few garlands upstairs too to the game room for kids that don't have game room no more. And here is the entrance of the quinceanera. That is the entrance arch that we did. The, oh, actually, my husband and John did it. My sister and I did the backdrop in the back and the mosaic numbers. The the nice thing is the the centerpieces were ready, so we just got there. Um, the tablecloth lady got there and just added all of that, and we just had added the centerpieces on the top. Those are the entrance uh, balloon pillars that we did also. You can see the two fan towers on the side of the mosaic number, mosaic letters, marquee letters uh, for the little girl's name. And that is one of the arches for the treats. There's a bunch of centerpieces, 40 like I said. Balloons for the marquee letters. Her main backdrop, um, an arch for the cake table thank you so much so much for watching please comment down below with any question that you have please subscribe like that will help us a lot thank you and see you in the next one bye